So Among Us definitely has been a game that's been trending all over online and it'd be a shame if we didn't make a bento box out of it. So in today's recipe, we're gonna be making the little characters that you see in the game. We're gonna be adding a lot of protein to the dish and we're gonna be having a lot of fun with it as well. So we'll show you guys nutrition facts along the way. So let's get cooking up guys. So the ingredient list will be down in the description below. So make sure you get everything before you start this recipe. So the first thing that we have to do here is to create the dye that will color our characters when we shape them. Let's start off with the purple cabbage here. Before putting the cabbage into the blender, you want to make sure they're nice and minced as it'll be really hard to extract the color if there are still large chunks. Now place the minced purple cabbage into the blender with half a cup of water and blend till the paste forms. After the paste is formed, put it inside a colander and extract a liquid. You'll end up with this really awesome natural dye that we can use to form the characters in the game. Now we're going to do the same thing with the spinach and the carrots here. Half a cup of water works perfectly for both of these as well. Just blend them up and repeat the process that we showed with the purple cabbage. Now that all the dyes are made, let's place two tablespoons of each and add it to half a cup of rice. Too much liquid will result in some soggy rice, so make sure you don't overdo it here. Also too much water will make it super hard to shape into the character, so this step is really important. If I'm being honest here, the cabbage was pretty gross with the rice. The spinach and the carrots were fine here, but it really does taste like how you would imagine these to taste. They look cool, but I wouldn't recommend bothering to make these unless you have a bento box channel that's trying to hop on a current trend for the YouTube algorithm. Up next, we got the egg whites, which are going to make the goggles that we see on the characters. Just separate the egg whites from the yolks and season with a little bit of salt here. Now that everything is prepped up, let's get to cooking. Let's start the cooking process by adding in half a tablespoon of oil into the pan. Wipe it down with a paper towel and pour in the egg whites. Just cook them through until you see that the whites have set and let's remove them from the pan. We didn't really film it here, but you want to cut out small goggle pieces that we will eventually put onto the characters once we made them. Now let's get onto the chicken portion of this dish. This is Aspire Fitness so you know we have to add in lots of protein to our meals. Start off by adding in 1 tablespoon of oil for 1 pound of chicken breast. Let the oil heat for a minute or two and lay down the chicken so every piece gets some really nice color on there. Just cook for 5 minutes and allow the chicken to form a really nice crust. After the chicken is formed a crust on the first side, let's flip it and let it cook for another 5 minutes. After 5 minutes are up, let's take out the chicken and work with the fawn that is formed on the bottom of the pan. To make a really awesome pan sauce here, let's add in 2 tablespoons of mirin, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener, and 2 tablespoons of garlic. This is a recipe that my mom made up and is a dish that I eat for lunch literally like every day of my life. It's a really great way to get your protein in and it tastes so good. Mom and Pac really knows how to make some really awesome food. Once the pan sauce is made, let's add the chicken back into the pan and let it capture all that delicious sauce that we made here. Cook for another 2 minutes and add in some Thai chilies if you want some spice to this dish. If spice isn't your thing then feel free to take this out. It's a quick process and you end up with this makeshift teriyaki chicken that takes no effort at all to make. Now let's get to forming the characters from the game. This is actually pretty tough if you just try to do this without some gloves. If you're going to make this, get some gloves and spray some palm oil on them. It really helps out with the process. What worked for us was to get a handful of rice and forming it into an egg shape. Then we got a chopstick or the back of the spoon and pushed in the rice from the bottom to form the legs. Then we got a little nub of rice and formed that little backpack that you see on the character. Just place that on the back and you have the base frame of the astronaut. As for the eyes, you just want to cut out a little piece of egg white and put it somewhere on the top. And there you go, you get this awesome little character made out of vegetable extract and rice. It sucks that we didn't film it here, but we also made the dead character animation here as well. Just repeat the process for the legs, but then add a little bone made from plain rice right on top of the legs. I guess purple was an imposter here all along. Just repeat the process here for the other characters as well, and you should end up with some really awesome characters that actually really look like the game. If you want to be extra like us and you can add some seaweed to the eyes, you'll end up with a little outline that makes it look even better. I don't think anyone is really going to make the rice, but the chicken was good so maybe just take that out of today's recipe. And there you guys have it, we have 3 bento boxes that are high in protein and feature these little characters from Among Us. Maybe try out the recipe without the vegetable dye and I think it'll honestly be better. If you want to make the characters however, try it out. Maybe you'll like the spinach, carrot, or cabbage flavored rice. Anyways, I hope you guys liked watching the video, it was really fun to make with my mom. I just want to say thank you to anyone who has been here with us and watched our videos. If you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. If you made it for yourself, then make sure to tag us on Instagram or send us an email. Make sure to check out our blog at aspirefitnesswalnut.com and let us know what other types of recipes you guys would like to see. Thanks for watching guys and we hope to see you guys in the next one.